Well, not only do the Red Wings return home from Carolina with two huge wins, they return with two new teammates. A deadline deal sending Anthony Mantha to Washington returns budding star Jacob Verana and veteran forward Richard Ponick, who are set to make their debuts at Little Caesars Arena tonight against the Chicago Blackhawks. Welcome inside Little Caesars Arena, everyone. I'm Trevor Thompson alongside the Hall of Famer Larry Murphy. And Murph, there is no shortage of big news to get to on Red Wings Live tonight. I mean, the Red Wings return home with two huge wins over the Hurricanes, but they return home to face a desperate Chicago Blackhawks team that is four points behind Nashville, trying to track them down. So this is a huge two-game series for them. And the Red Wings return with two brand new faces. And we'll talk about them. Those are the big hats for today. So let's start there. What do uh, Jacob Verana and Richard Ponick bring to the table here in Detroit? Well, both of them are skilled players. And Jacob Verana is basically the marquee guy in this trade. They are two players and Richard Ponick, two guys that can score goals. They're going to work their way in the lineup. Verana is going to be opportunity time for him. Playing in Washington, he was only playing 14-22, 14 minutes, 22 seconds average a game. Here, the opportunity might get to 17, 18 minutes a game. This is a guy that's going to score goals. Trevor, when a goal scorer gets more ice time, you know what that means? That means more goals. He's a guy that's got great foot speed, great talent around the net. So look for him, basically, to build on his career, and it's an opportunity for him to take that next step in terms of hierarchy of players in the National Hockey League. Well, Murph, uh, he's a native of the Czech Republic. He just turned 25 years old in February, and he was a part of that 2014 draft. In fact, he was taken one spot after former Red Wing Brendan Perlini, two spots ahead of current Red Wings captain Dylan Larkin, and seven spots before current Red Wings winger Robbie Fabry. He was also a part of that 2018 Washington Capitals team that won the Stanley Cup. Now he's looking forward to this opportunity here in the Motor City, and that's tonight's Coors Light Report. This is a great historical club. This club has a name, and and it's it's a uh, you know it's an honor to, to put this jersey on you. And uh, obviously, when Steve Steve Eiserman called me, um, at that time it was really fresh, and you know just it just uh, like I said, it's part of the sport, and I was. Uh, I was shocked at the time, but but also uh, uh, really excited, and and I could see uh, someone that, that that trusts me, that, that that believes in me, and then gives me a chance to play. Murph, you mentioned it. This kid can score goals. He scored 25 of them and had 52 points in 69 games before COVID shut the league down last season. How will he be used here in Detroit? Well, he's going to be used for production, and he's going to be he's going to see more ice time on the power play than he did in Washington. Highly skilled. He's got a great first step. He's got good speed, good hand-eye coordination, moves the puck well. But that quick wrist shot, as we saw there, that's his bread and butter. The ability to sniff out the puck around the net. Great backhand pass or backhand shot on his part. And watch this outside speed. He cranks it, beats the defenseman, buries it up top. That's what we're going to see a lot of, Trev, this season from him. He's a guy that's exciting, plays with speed. He's got great quick release on the wrist shot. And expect him, you touched on last year, 25 goals in those 69 games. Well, with more ice time, maybe we're going to see him become a 30, 35 goal scorer for this team. Very exciting. And he comes to town with his ex, well, his old teammate, now new teammate, I guess, current teammate, <laughs> Richard Ponick. Now, Ponick was taken in the 2009 draft by Steve Eiserman when he was running things in Tampa. He was selected in the second round, 52 overall that season. And now he's playing with his sixth team in the NHL. He went from Tampa to Toronto to Chicago to Arizona, Washington. Now he's in Detroit. He's 30 years old and recently played in his 500th NHL game, so he's no stranger to the league. This is not his first rodeo, but he's looking forward to this opportunity as well. Just uh, wanted to earn a uh, spot on the team. Uh, you know, uh, I uh, so far uh, this season now uh, it's not uh, how I expected. Uh, so these two L games, uh, I'm gonna focus to bring uh, bring my best games uh, in the team and uh, help the team win some games and. Uh, Hopefully, I will, I will, I will do a good impression, you know, and uh, go from there. 
Now, when he was in the minors with Tampa Bay, they won the Calder Cup. And when he was playing against Jeff Blaschel in the minors in the AHL, Jeff Blaschel said in those series against the Syracuse Crunch, he thought Ponick was the best player on the Syracuse team and says this guy can really go when he's at the top of his game. How will he be used here in the Motor City? Well, this is an interesting situation. He's the wild card of the trade. He's got, He's been signed, or he is signed, for two more seasons, so the Wings can potentially have him for quite some time. Yes, there's a high skill level. He actually, one season, he did score 22 goals. That's when he was playing with the Chicago Blackhawks. Quick release, the one-timers, is something that he goes to all the time. He plays third, fourth line ice time, fell out of favor in Washington, sat out a couple of games. But see, as we can see in this, this highlight reel, he's willing to take the puck to, to the net. He's a guy, he's well-seasoned, he's been around. He's, you know, he knows exactly how this thing works. Coming to a new team, I expect him to start right away. He's not going to feel uncomfortable. Verona, this is the first time being traded. He's just going to kind of try to figure his way out. For Ponick, he's been down this road before, so he should be okay. He should be ready to go. And it's based, his level of play will dictate how much ice time he gets, whether he's fourth line, third line, but he's going to get an opportunity to establish himself here in Detroit in these last 12 games. Yeah, and what I noticed in our Xfinity look around the league there, Murph, he's no, no, not afraid to go to the net strong at all. He's going to be a big physical presence here, and certainly the Red Wings can use that, and they'll also be able to use his intensity, because that is one of the things Jeff Blaschel is looking for from his team down the stretch. No, they're not going to the playoffs, but there are a dozen games left, and there's a lot to do uh, individually and collectively for this team, according to the head coach. Coach, here's what he wants to see. We want to make sure we don't waste one second of the opportunity we have left in front of us. And, and um, you know, I think uh, every game, every ch uh, time you get a chance to play a game in the National Hockey League, uh, you should cherish it. And, and um, you know, everybody always thinks uh, they, have a, they have a long time left and really everything goes so fast. Uh, you know, as we saw last year, we, we got shut down. All of a sudden we were done playing. So we want to make sure we make the most of every second we have left uh, playing this season. Number two, um, you know, there is a lot of uh, there is a lot at stake both individually. There's a lot of guys who are, you know, playing for uh, contracts, playing for roles within our team, trying to establish themselves. And there's a lot collectively. Um, you know, I think uh, we've done a good job this year of helping to build a, a foundation that, that we can have long-term success with. Now, Murph, that leads us nicely to our GMC Pro Vision tonight because those two guys join a team that is on a roll right now. They had two huge wins over the Hurricanes in Carolina. What are they going to need to do against the Chicago Blackhawks that they did against the Hurricanes in order to get the same results? It's the same, it's, it's the same formula. It will definitely help, Trip. Power play was effective, scored a power play goal. The penalty kill was great. And the veterans chipped in. Look at this play right here. Phil Pulis, smartly, he doesn't cough the puck up. Hamilton was putting pressure on him, makes the play to Rasmussen, and watch Rasmussen now. Need a rider, he's got position on him, uses his big body to protect the puck. Now Adam Ernie, you see him right there, finds that quiet area by the side of the net, close to the crease area. Rasmussen makes a great backhand pass to him. Boom, it's in the net. All three players on that shift contribute to the goal. First, Phil Pulis, a great outlet pass out of the zone. Rasmussen wrapping the net with the great backhand pass. And Adam Ernie, with the open cage, takes full advantage of it. It was a great goal. All three guys contribute right out of their zone. Plays like that, Trev, will obviously help tonight in this game. Yeah, they're going to need the entire team to contribute against the Blackhawks here tonight. We're going to play some desperate hockey for sure. One